Hello everyone. Tonight is the make or break day for global momentum. I mean, today in the evening around 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time, US Bureau of Labor Statistics is going to release bunch of US jobs related macro for the September month. In that, the important ones are US average hourly earnings increase in month on month basis and this non farm payroll data. I mean, it's a measure of change in the number of people employed during the September month excluding the farm industry. They will also release the other details like unemployment rate but unless there is a big change in those we don't need to worry and the non farm jobs data will dictate the global momentum just for info for the moment investors are expecting us to have added 170000 new jobs in september but by chance if the data comes more like say 250000 then that will hurt the global momentum and the stock markets all around the world as we know this is because more jobs can mean more inflation more inflation makes investors to worry about further higher interest rate right now I I mean in the last couple of weeks fed chairman has been very hawkish and giving indication that he might increase one more 25 basis point increase by the end of this year if the jobs data is good means then for sure he will increase one more rate hike that's why this jobs data is super important and because of this upcoming data us stock market was uncertain last night thus all the us major index badly changed in the end dow jones closed almost flat negative 0.03% s&p 500 down 0.13% and nasdaq 2 increased roughly the same rate 0.12% in case of vex it's in the same place as yesterday 18.5 everything else like the 10 year bond yield and the dollar index hardly changed they went down just a little less 10.5%. Only oil dropped by about 2% from yesterday. The reason is same as what we talked about in our last video. Again, I don't want to bore you guys with the same information. In terms of numbers at the time of this video, WTI crude oil is trading near 82.5 US dollars per barrel and Brent crude oil is trading near 84.5 US dollars per barrel. In case of Indian areas in US market, all closed positive to flat. More by Infosys and ICIC Bank increased 0.75 to 1%, whereas others HDFC Bank and Wipro closed near flat. Moving on about the gift nifty at 3 am Indian standard time it closed at 19605 here it's tricky now to predict i mean a couple of days ago and yesterday gift nifty was just 10 to 20 points premium to the spot nifty this was when markets were down because of fear about higher interest rates and rising oil price At that time the global momentum itself was negative in those scenario always SX Nifty or GIF Nifty doesn't give much premium to the spot nifty but in good times it can be above up to 120 points premium especially during the start of the month so the problem is recently in the last 36 hours oil price fell by 8% and also global momentum got better this makes guessing the GIF Nifty's premium really tricky if we consider the premium of 10 points then it's indicating nifty to gap up open of 50 to 60 points but if the premium is 40 50 points then it suggest nifty might open flat or slightly up again it just guidance and what gift nifty is indicating at that time it can change any time as well so this is what happened in the global market yesterday now let's move to the next india specific info first just like how the us jobs data is crucial at 10 am indian standard time rbi will be deciding on india's interest rates Again this is a big deal for our market right now investors think that RBI will keep the repo rate at same 6.5% and they hope it stays that way without any extra conditions unlike the last time I mean in August month RBI kept the interest rate unchanged but they implemented that with a new incremental CRR 10% which immediately made all the banking stocks to fall and now these stocks haven't fully recovered even after 2 months and again for one of the other reason if the RBI increases the interest rate even by 0.25% it would be really bad for indian market In addition to keeping the interest rate same with no strings investors wants the RBI to say when they might start to lower the interest rate and what they think about future inflation so two very important events in one single day one for india specific and one for whole global momentum 
Then second, Bajaj Finance wants to raise 10,000 crore rupees. So they announced that they are going to raise 8,800 crore rupees from QIP and 1,200 crore rupees by selling special warrants. Here, personally, I don't think this is good because it means this will lead to liquidate more shares which can lower the individual stock value. Third, Jaguar Land Rover whole sales volume increased by 29% compared to last year and are 4% more than the last quarter. Here, this is very very good numbers let's see the impact on the tata motor stock price finally for the 12th straight day fa was still a net seller the net sold for approximately 1865 crore rupees while da net bought for around 520 crore rupees as a summary it looks like whole global momentum comes to a sleep mode especially for india it's double sleep mode Anyway, US market closed flat to negative, but Indian ADR and SX Nifty for the moment indicating flat to positive. However, falling crude price is not good for Reliance Industries and in line with that, Reliance GDR closed 0.5% negative. And also there are some demand related weakness among FMCG stocks. But expecting at least banks to trade small positive, but that heavily depends upon the RBA policy outcome. Then, as per stock open interest, Oberoi Realty, Dalmia Bharat, Marico, Dixon Tech and Oracle Financial got an increase in open interest along with a negative close indicates the short build-up. On the other hand, Coromandel International, Max Financial Services, Sun TV Network, Loris Lab and Balakrishna Industries got an increase in open interest with a positive price close which means these stocks got the long build-up. Then, about the things to look out, during our market hours, first around 10 am, as I said multiple times, it's RBI interest rate decision. Then after our market hours, India's bi-weekly bank's credit and debit growth data is due. Finally, in US, non-form payroll data, hourly pay increase percentage and unemployment rate are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming to technical, Nifty opened a gap up of near 80 points and for most part of the day it maintains that and closed positive of approximately 110 points. Thus, on the daily chart it has formed a morning star pattern. I mean, the long red candle and the followed small middle candle indicates the selling exhaustion and indecisiveness among buyers and sellers. Then the third candle confirms the bullish reversal and marked the new uptrend. So technically, the recent correction has halted around the 20 week moving average 19,320 and now I expect a relief rally over the next few trading sessions. So now the positive sentiment around 18,400 to 19,450 is likely to continue. On the upside, expecting the pullback to continue till 19,780 to 19,800, which coincides with the 50% Fibonacci retracement level and the 20 day moving average. In terms of levels, 19,460 to 19,480 is the crucial support zone, while 19,670 to 19,700 shall act as the immediate hurdle zone. Then about Bank Nifty, opened a gap up and it also moved similar to nifty. At present on the hourly momentum indicator, I observed the positive divergence and crossover which is a bullish sign. So expecting the bank nifty to provide a pullback till 44,800 to 45,000 from short term perspective. Then as per options open interest data, the maximum call option open interest is at 19,700 then 19,600 strike while the maximum new call rating is seen at 19,600 then 19,700 strike. This means 19,600 to 19,700 is the strong resistance. Then the maximum put option open interest is at 19,500 then 19,400 strike while the put rating is seen at 19,500 and then 19,400 strike suggesting that 19,400 is the support to look out for. In addition, in terms of range, the data suggests a broad trading of 19,200 to 20,000 while the immediate range is 19,400 to 19,700 zone. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment based on this as I'm not a SAP registered advisor. I'm doing this for my and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.